We can't level up. We're nowhere close. I misread. I thought there was an extra one there. What do we get? Usat's Glenstone Staff. Okay. Probably very good for a magic build, if I had to guess. Okay, so I don't have anywhere else to go, really, here in Kaled. I think I've done just about everything I wanted to do in Kaled for right now. There is Radon's Tower, so let's go to Radon's Tower. Let's do that while I have very little runes, because I remember Radon's Tower being a little bit... little bit wacky, if I remember correctly. I remember there being a lot of verticality here. I'm dry, dry as a bone. Fool dragon, surrender your strength. Let me feast on your heart. Okay, so there's like a dude there. I didn't notice that. I just saw the icon pop up. I thought it was a grace for a minute, and I thought it was curious that they would put one grace right next to another. But there's actually an NPC there. It's odd. Oh, Elden Ring, you're kidding me. Give me the guy. Oh, this guy's gonna be a bitch to get. He's got a lot of health. Maybe not. Somber Smithing Stone 8. That's definitely handy dandy. I'm glad that we killed that thing. Right. So this is the thing about Radon's Tower. Radon's Tower is a little bit wacky. It's a little bit a little bit ludicrous, a little bit crazy. It's kind of kinda of wacky. Should have known he would have to. This isn't fair, game. You need to put him in a place where he's hit by. See, this is where I find Elden Ring to be a little bit bullshit. Like, let me hit the fucking enemy, dude. I did his thrusts. I did the rolls at the correct time. He should have been open. Don't make my weapon bounce off the wall. Just let me kill the guy. Just let me kill the dude. It's not that hard. Just let me kill the guy. So here's the thing about Radon's tower. You have to scale it in a very particular way, and I don't remember how. And yeah, it gets a little bit sketchy. I'm not going to hold you. It gets a little bit sketchy. Some of the jumps here are a little bit difficult to make. I really dislike having a katana. Just let me kill the enemy, dude. I don't know why this game does that. It's really ludicrous. I don't like that. Okay, never mind, it's not that bad. Could have been worse. Don't be any more enemies. Like, see, this kind of design is just fucking designed to fuck you. Like, this is kind of just ludicrous amounts of silly bullshit, and I don't know why they do this kind of crap. It's just kind of, kind of shitty. Okay, so we definitely can't make it over there from this end, so I'm not even gonna try that. I'm hoping up here will be our side of grace, that way I don't have to do any of that janky bullshit again. And the inside of Radon's tower is a completely different monster, I'm not even gonna hold you. The inside of this tower is fucking ridiculous. There's a lot of crazy verticality, there's a lot of really strong enemies, and there's a boss at the bottom, if I remember correctly. Luckily enough, we did that in one shot, so I'm pretty proud that that only took one try, especially given the wall memes right there. So that's pretty good. We take those. Let's head up first. Before we go down, because I remember the tower, when you access it, you're closer to the top than the bottom. So let's head up top first. But we can't. At least not this way. This is a dead end, so we can't go that way. I don't know if you have to go down to go up. It might be something like that, but I can't recall. I mean, this is the only other way into the tower. And this goes down, so I guess let's go this way. Is this where the... Oh, that guy doesn't look too bad. That dude does, though. That is so like them. I heard the guy get up. I just didn't know what or who or where he was. How strong are you? Very strong. Good to know. Doesn't have a lot of health, though. 
Okay, they are most certainly killable. It's not like the enemies in here are impossible or anything. Okay, that's good to know. You suck. You really suck. Get the fuck out of here. Full iframe, so. I respect it. Get fucked. Okay, so if I remember correctly, this door's locked from the other side, yeah. Okay, so we can't do anything there yet. We can roll down here. This is the part where it gets a little bit sketch. This is the part where it gets kind of sketchy. There's black goop dripping from the ceiling, too. I don't know how I feel about that. Okay. So let's be very, very cautious about how we do this. And then let's drop onto here. The verticality in this fucking tower is just so crazy. It's just so wacky. So that is our goal. That is our destination, is to get down there where that lance-wielding spear soldier is. That's our goal. We gotta do this very cautiously. Very, 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 very cautiously. Golden Rune 12. I'll take that. It's definitely cool. Okay, so here's the thing. I didn't go far enough. Oh, I did. Oh. Oh, man. It really gets your fucking heart going. I swear to God, dude. This fucking game. That is going to be a little bit sketch. I don't know how I feel about that. Not like that wasn't sketch, but you know what I mean. I didn't... Oh, okay. We take those. I didn't jump far enough. I didn't have the momentum that I needed right there. Okay. Very nice. Nicely done on my part. I did flub up part of it, but we still made it. So good on me for that. Definitely feel like I earned that. And then if I remember correctly, we have a very nasty asshole through here, if I remember right. Just for a rune arc too, that guy hits so fucking hard. He hits so much harder than I remember him hitting for. I didn't roll right though, that's fair enough. Okay, so we're gonna say goodbye to the big nasty scary man and we'll come back and fight him after I get the shortcut because I'm not doing that fucking bullshit again. I really hate doing that. I only ever had to do it once before, but doing it twice is more than enough for one lifetime. I'm very surprised I was able to get that on the first shot. I'm very proud of that. Right then. Okay, so we got our shortcut. We're good there. This is another dead end. Let's go back and fight the fireman. If I remember correctly, this guy is a black flame monk, and these guys hurt really, really bad. So he's probably going to kill me. And he's right at the bottom of the ladder. Hello, sir. I didn't mean to disturb you. That is so delayed. Damn. God, he's such a piece of shit. Okay, cool. I'll fuck off. I get it. I get it. Are you gonna do your quick one or your really delayed one? Really delayed one. He's a bastard. Let's just back up. Can we just back up? We can. I can't roll past him. Okay, so we can roll the first one and circle straight to the second. That's good to know. Okay, two of them, huh? That looks like an AoE. I could roll that at all. It's fine. That's the circle straight now. No double. Don't want to know. God, that goes far. I don't know what it is. 
this. Oh man. Okay. Good. Nice. GG brother, you fought the good fight. Poison bleed was just a little bit too strong though. Okay, and now that that asshole is dead, and I can feel gratified going forward rather than skipping every hard enemy that the game has to offer. Let's go back to my checkpoint because that guy admittedly beat the shit out of me pretty goddamn bad. Let's go back and hit my checkpoint and then I think if we explore past him we can go further down the tower. And I don't know how well equipped I am for the boss that resides at the bottom of the tower but hopefully I'm good enough. Also this ladder is incredibly tall. Fuck that doofus, he's fine. He's just sleeping. He's just napping. Same with this guy. It's like in an Uncharted game where you, like, knock out seven of their patrols, and they're kind of just like, huh. Guess they quit for the day. Okay. Now that we've rested at the checkpoint, we have all our heals back. Let's run past these two dickwads, because they suck. Nice try, bastard. Nice try, bastard. I was gonna say, they can come through the doorway, can't they? They're gonna stab me in the ass and throw me down the ladder and kill me. Surprisingly, they didn't, though. Right. Really big delay. Really big delay on that sword swing. I want their weapon really bad. I feel like their weapon would be really, really cool. Also, please don't shoot me in the ass with black flames. It'd be really cool if you didn't do that. Okay. I think it's this one that you want to drop onto, if I remember correctly. Such a ludicrously long fucking fall, dude. It's so ridiculous. I remember the first time I came to this tower, I was... I saw all the elevators and stuff, and I was wondering how they expected me to reach them, because obviously those were all death falls. And I was like, how the fuck do they expect you to be able to do this? Okay. So. I don't know how equipped I am to fight this boss. If I'm not equipped to fight it, we're gonna quit out, and I'm going to gather all my runes. So this may very well be another quit out sesh, but hopefully it's not. Right then, guess I'll go fuck myself. 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 Okay, do they stagger every jump swing? They appear to. They do. Interesting. Unless, of course, they do that. If they do that, I'm kind of fucking bummed. I don't know what that is. Three consecutive hits, he did not have two shits about that. Finally, I got my bleed proc. These boys are fucking beefy, dude. Holy shit. Smoldering butterfly, cool. Alright, so here's the thing. I don't know how equipped I am to fight this boss. This is probably going to end in my imminent demise. But it's okay if that happens. Godskin Apostle. What's up, Chief? Short time no see, buddy. I should have known he would not give a fuck about a single jump attack. I should have known. That's right. He throws the black thing.
Hold on. Hold on, my part. Hold on. God's gonna apostle hood. I got his armor set, did I? Cool. God's gonna apostle trousers. That wasn't honestly all that bad. That wasn't terrible at all. I feel like I fought him even better than I fought him the first time. Cool. Well earned. Let me have the glowing mystical magical box, please. God Slayer's great sword. That sounds fucking amazing as shit. That sounds so cool. Where is it? There it is. And I can use it. Queen's Black Flame. Set the blade ablaze with the God Slaying Black Flame before delivering a sweeping slash. Additional input allows for a follow up attack. The Black Flames will continue to wear down HP for a while. How does this swing? It is kind of slow, but it is a great sword, so I guess it makes sense. And I have to take off the shield, or the torch, to be able to check out the weapon arm. Oh man. That is wild. That is pretty cool. I'm not gonna hold you. God damn, man. Sick. Alright, so the only question remains is how do we get to the top of Verdun's tower? Because coming down here didn't allow us to go upward. Unless I have to take a different route to be able to get to the top. So we've done Radon's tower, we fought the boss at the bottom, and honestly that went a lot better than I thought it would. I did not expect it to go over all that well. How many runes did we get for killing the uh, godskin? Also, why is the godskin there? I want to know why the godskin is there. Let's also check out his fashionable drip. He definitely got some good drip. That's for damn sure. Yeah, you got some cool drip. I'm not going to hold you. We might have to do some more fashion souls. Well, you can't really see the chest piece, but I think the top piece having, like, no bottom half is kind of cool. I'm in medium load, though. Hmm, huh, okay. So the godskin hood, compared to what I was wearing before, which is this, it does weigh a little bit more, but I think it looks a little bit cooler. Slightly increases the recovery effects of the Flask of Cerulean Tears, but increases damage taken. Okay. That's what those do. Alright. Uh, what was I wearing before? I think I was wearing this. And I don't know what I was wearing for Gauntlets, but I think it was these. And that should put me in. Can we not get into Light Load? No matter what we do, we can't get into Light Load. Shit. That's not good. I don't want to be playing in Mid Load. Put on the godskin trousers. I'm still gonna be in mid load no matter what I do. That's fucking dog shit, man. I remember equip load in Elden Ring being a little bit shitty. Now I remember why. Okay, that's totally fine. I'll just have to put some more points into endurance, or I'll have to get the uh, pendant that allows me to have a higher equip load. But if I remember correctly, getting it is not all that easy. And I think they locked it behind some ridiculous challenge, if I remember right. You have to do, like, a big gauntlet with, like, a ton of enemies or something. Alright, so I don't really need a side of grace. There is one more thing I can think of that we have to do in Kaled. So, let's go to the chamber outside the plaza. There is one more boss fight in Kaled that I can think of that we're capable of doing right now. So, let's try and do that. I'm not going to use the God Slayer sword right now, but I think I am going to upgrade it just for a little bit of variety. Let's also use all the runes so I don't end up going into a boss fight and losing like two or three levels. That'd be really stupid. Uh, let's up. Let's up strength to 25. We'll stop and cap strength at 25 for now until I get a little bit more comfortable with investing higher. And let's go into this boss fight. on the other end of the field, so I don't gotta worry about him. Lantana's gone. He's done for. 
Come on, Crucible Knight. Let's go, bitch. I haven't seen this dude in like 20 years, so I can't remember what the hell he fights like at all. Because I skipped the one at Stormhill accidentally, and I didn't mean to. I couldn't do anything right there. I didn't have the frames. That's a thrust. Okay, that's designed as a heal punish. Okay. I understand. That's delayed. Okay, that's free. Not bad. Thrust. Okay. That is so free. That is so goddamn fucking free. That is like the freest thing in the world. Shouldn't have gone for two right there. Thrust. That's right. Forgot about that. It's my fault. Okay, let's get some distance. Okay. He's just not designed to be able to be freely healed whenever you want. I have to roll him first. Delay. Free. Punish. Back up. Set. What is this? What is this shit? Oh man. Okay. Oh fuck. That was fast as shit. Shouldn't have gone for a swing right there, that was great. That's fine. Good angle. Odd positioning, but that's fine. I shouldn't have rolled there. Shouldn't have, shouldn't have struck right there either. Any better. Wait, is he gonna go into a thrust straight out of that? Oh, that's fucking brutal, dude. Oh, and he closes the distance with that. I see. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, man. Okay, I gotta learn his follow-ups now. Because he has a new thing going on. I fucking knew it, you baiting piece of shit. That's bullshit. That shouldn't have hit me at all. It dicked. I don't agree with that stomp. I feel like I should have iframe that. Rune's great sword. Okay. That was a pretty cool fight. I remember Crucible Knight being really cool. I want to see if his dragon tail sweep shit is jumpable, because I feel like it's jumpable. And I just haven't tried to jump it, because I really didn't get an opportunity in that fight to try it. Every time he did the tail sweep, I was coming out of a swing or some other animation. Is that one NPC guy still here? Can I still talk to him? He's not here anymore. There's nothing going on with the altar? Nothing going on with the body? Okay. No bullshit here? No bullshit here. So we can go back down to where Radon is, but I think the only thing there is that catacomb that I'm unable of completing right now. So rather than do that, let me check and see if there's anything more in Caleb that we can do. There's the Deathrite bird, that's right, I was going to do that. Uh, I can delete this marker, because I don't need the marker anymore, because we already took care of the boss within there. We still gotta remember the Black Blade Kindred, but I'm not equipped to take on the Kindred right now, so we'll do that later. I don't have the weapon damage for him right now. Okay. So after Kaelid, I was going to go back and re-explore the Altus Plateau. Actually, I think I was going to go back to Liurnia. I think there was some other stuff in Liurnia that I wanted to do. And even though I took a second run around Liurnia, I think I got out of there way too fast. I think there's some other items and stuff we can go explore. And I think there's a couple caverns and optional boss fights that we can do while we're there. So, let's go over to Liurnia and see what we can do. What can we start with? Let's go to the Karian Manor. I feel like that's a good starting point. There's a boss here in the Academy Crystal Cave, but I need a blunt weapon for that. Royal Moon Gazing Grounds. This is where I want to go.